Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Romina and today's video is going to be a monthly reset video. Welcome if you're new or welcome back if you're not new. I am actually sitting here on my chair a few days into the month of December, but I still wanted to film this video because I feel like I've been doing so good with uploading these the past few months and I actually have like a new setup. I have a mic going on and I wanted to try it out here with you guys. So definitely let me know how you feel about the quality, the audio quality. I just thought I would try something new before the beginning of the year. Today's video is going to be all about my monthly budget as well as go over my goals for the last month. I started being consistent with these monthly reset videos in the month of August so I don't have sort of like the whole year to work with and kind of look back at what I wanted to achieve in January but I will kind of go through the month of November and not so much set specific goals for myself this month because as the end of the year approaches I am of course already thinking of what goals I want to achieve for the new year so I am going to go through last month's goals and kind of update you guys on how I've done with that. But aside from that, I'm going to be pretty lenient and not give myself strict goals because I want to be able to enjoy the holiday season with my family. I also will be having my baby shower in the month of December. If you didn't know or are new to this channel, I'm going to be 32 weeks pregnant this month, which is crazy, but baby number two is almost here and I promise that I will be here for our 2025 January monthly reset. So there's already a lot going on with that. So I don't want to put too much on my plate, but I still hope you guys enjoy this video. In the month of November, I actually didn't upload as much content as I thought I was going to upload. And I would like to say that the reason being is because of all of the Black Friday and Cyber Monday craze that was to come, which I filmed a video prepping for Black Friday, which is up on my channel. Definitely check it out if you would like to see more of my small businesses and what it is that I do to prep for a major holiday. Like Black Friday is literally a Super Bowl for all small businesses. I would say all businesses in general. So I feel like that took up a lot of my time and kind of why content went on the back burner. But this month, I am not partaking in Vlogmas, which is something that I also have done in the past for years. I just once again did not want to have too much on my plate, but I still do have a content calendar that I would like to show you guys because now I'm actually doing it digitally on my iPad and all in all I just want to better my content in 2025 so I'm hoping that this month I'm able to upload more here on YouTube and continue to upload on Instagram and TikTok. Can we talk about how cute my sweatshirt is? I got this last Christmas from the TikTok shop after seeing someone wearing this on Instagram and I'm so glad that I was able to bring it back and that it still fits me at almost 32 weeks pregnant. I have here my coach cover. You guys already know I absolutely love this cover and just writing my goals and it just feels a lot more like legit. For personal goals, I had that I wanted to wake up one to one and a half hours earlier, ideally at six to 6.30, which you guys, it's been cold, but I feel like it's extra cold at our house. So that honestly made it impossible for me to get up super early. I did say that I wanted to wake up earlier than my son to get some things done and get ahead and I have been able to do that just because he's been sleeping a little bit longer in the mornings. He has now transitioned from two naps to one nap so that requires us to stay up a little bit longer in the day so then that way he can take a nap later on and so he's actually been sleeping in a little bit longer so I'm just going to call that a win. A win is a win. So that's how that goal went. And then I wanted to read four books. I think I really wasn't doing all that much for the past few months that I've had 
time to read like five or four books a month but this month i only got to reading one book granted it was a really good book and it was longer than others that i've read it was emily henry's book lovers and it was actually a five out of five stars for me I do recommend that book but unfortunately i was not able to read the four books that i planned on reading as for the other two goals that i have here one was to finish my 2025 planning system which i do have all of that ready i'm actually going to be filming a planner stack for 2025 video next so definitely stay tuned for that because i just get so excited about planning and i haven't filmed one of these videos in a long time so if you're into planning or just want to see what it is that i'm using for 2025 definitely stay tuned and then last but not least i have to scrapbook read those first year which i'm so happy to tell you guys that i have already started with that like i mentioned last month had all the pictures ready to just cut up and paste so i started with the cover i'm even making like short form content on the actual scrapbook so definitely follow me on tiktok or instagram i'm not 100 percent sure if i will be finishing that this month but my personal goal is to finish that book up by the time that baby number two gets here which should be towards the beginning of february next for business goals a little recap of that my number one goal was to prep for black friday and cyber monday business was probably the main thing that i focused on in the month of november so all of that did get done i did attend the two pop-ups that i wanted to attend last month i've been working really hard on attending pop-ups for my online jewelry business rosa jewels because i probably won't be able to do pop-ups of course until after the baby's here so i wanted to really focus on that i actually have another pop-up this december which is going to be my last one until further notice all in all i also wanted to be more active on social media which i feel like i have been november for me was more of a trial run and just getting back into my short form content so although i haven't been as active on here on youtube i've definitely been more active on tiktok and instagram which i know you guys have been hearing about tiktok getting shut down and to that i want to ask you guys how you feel about that <laughs> because should i stop posting on tiktok should i just focus on instagram and maybe youtube shorts that's kind of something that i'm thinking about this month with that being in the back of my mind next up for household and family goals i wanted to plan more family time and activities and with daylight savings ending it gets dark at like 4 30 and who wants to go out at 4 30 you know what i mean yeah that's how that's been going <laughs> for us my other two household slash family goals were to create a monthly cleaning checklist which i actually didn't end up doing we just sort of just started cleaning the whole place to decorate for christmas so that's something that i will end up doing this month i think that could be very beneficial for 2025 in general to start the new year right and then i wanted to also start craft activities with vito which we have we actually converted his bouncer into a table my sister got him the chair to go along with his table sometimes we'll just sit there and play and craft so it's safe to say that he loves that and then last but not least for health and wellness goals so my main goal to go on walks or go to pilates once a week granted i did go to pilates at least once a week last month and that i feel like pilates has definitely saved me this pregnancy because in my first pregnancy i wasn't really doing any physical activity and i feel like i felt that not only physically but also mentally now this second time around i just felt so much more at ease and not in as much pain as i felt last time my second one was to journal every day i started that in my a6 hobonichi techo i was doing so good with it in the beginning of the month but once that halfway mark to the month came and it was time to start all of my black friday and cyber monday prep i honestly didn't journal as much so i learned to be okay with having some blank pages in my journal 
for this month the main things that i would like to get done and these are just things in general are cleaning checklist done instead of doing daily prompts i actually want to do a daily devotional which i got one gifted at my church and this is for december january and february it is in spanish but so far i've been reading these every single day and i've really been enjoying them i know they sell a ton of devotionals online and i can link some of the ones that i've had in the past one of my main goals for 2025 is going to be to of course have a closer relationship to god so that is something personal that i would like to start this month and what better way than with the devotional that i got at church and then i really just want to get prepped for 2025 so getting all of my planner videos up i want to set up my new a5 planner i'm planning to set out a night to make a vision board with my sister and my friend Ileana. So all in all, I'm really excited for the new year and I hope that you guys are also starting to prep from now for the new year. And if not, this is your reminder to not wait until the very end of December. That's usually what I would do in past years or I would just try to do it already being in the new year but this month instead of focusing so much on setting goals for myself and accomplishing them i just want to rest and really think about what i want to maybe accomplish in 2025 that is basically all of the intentions and i guess goals that i have for this month but yeah just a reminder to take it easy and now i'm going to show you guys the monthly view in my current a5 planner as well as the content that i have planned for this month guys okay, so this is what i currently have have set up for December and there's a lot going on. If you guys are interested in seeing what all I have in my A5 planner, I will leave a link down below of my A5 flip through where I go through every single insert that I am using. But this is a monthly view that I'm currently using. And as you guys can see, I have a lot of like appointments pop up on the 8th. I turned 32 weeks on the 14th, as well as I have my baby shower that day, some like, holiday parties, Christmas, Christmas Eve, more OB appointments. So this is how this is looking like. I also am super proud to say that I was able to release my February stickers the second actually for Cyber Monday. So that was a little surprise. If you guys follow me on my planning Instagram, you guys saw that. That is something that I want to get out sooner rather than later, especially with the baby coming. Yeah, definitely stay tuned for my March releases if you're interested. They will most likely be up by the end of this month, if not the very, very beginning of January. I do have a few goals here for December, which they are goals that I wrote before the month started. Number one is to upload this reset video, upload my 2025 planner stack, to read four books this month, although I'm not sure how that will go, and then to finish all of my baby shower prep. Then I have this section to buy slash pay. And here I just have like Christmas presents and baby shower outfit, a section for important dates, and then a section for to-dos. So I really have been enjoying this monthly view and this is what I'll be using in 2025 as well. So then I want to show you guys my Hobonichi Techo. I mainly just want to show you guys the monthly views in here because this is the planner that I take with me at all times. And I think it's nice to have things in my monthly view to remind me of appointments, other stuff going on. So this was November and then this is December using some really cute washi and pet tape stickers from Simply Gilded. I think it came out so cute. And here I have pretty much the same things that I have in my bigger calendar that I showed you guys. I also went ahead and added some of these cute holiday stickers that I just released in my shop. They're actually these right here which I have in mini sheets as well as full sheets. And I just wanted to show you guys because this turned out so cute and it is something that I take with me pretty much everywhere. Aside from my calendar in my A5 planner, I've also been using this content calendar on an app called Notion. I know a lot of people use Notion and to be honest, this is not something that I made. This is actually a template that is part of a content planner and I've really been enjoying this. I started using this in November and 
it's really been nice to kind of plan out content for both Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. So for both short and long form content. Because you guys can see I have December 2024 here and I have written down some things. Like on the 4th, I got up my scrapbook reel. On the 6th, I got up this series that I do on TikTok, which is me dyeing my hair 100 shades of red. For the most part, I don't like to plan a short form content that's more sporadic as like the weeks go by, but I have decided to plan my long form content. So as you guys can see, although I have here that I will be uploading my December monthly reset video on the 10th, the beauty with this is that I can also always move it on to maybe the next day or whatever other day if that doesn't work out for me. I will also be having a decorate with me vlog, what I got my son for Christmas, holiday videos this week, and the next week will be more of my 2025 videos. So my new A5 rings planner setup. I want to get back into uploading plan with me's because I know some of you guys have missed those. My 2025 planner stack and just other annual budget videos that I would like to get up before the new year. So far, so good. This is what I have set up. I absolutely love Notion now and this content calendar. So if you guys are interested in knowing where I got this template, definitely let me know and I will give you guys the link. I did not create this, but I absolutely love it. To end with this video, I am going to set up my December monthly budget for us. I'm using one of the sheets from my 2025 budget planner printable, which is available on my website. I want to say Thank you so, so much to everyone who's already purchased the planner. I hope you love it. If you guys have not checked it out or did not know that I had a budget planner printable, I created one for 2025 as well as I have an undated version. So if you don't want to start in the very beginning of January, you'd like to start even now in December, you can. The difference between this budget sheet and the undated version is that the other one doesn't have a December but rather a section for you to put which month it is. Let's go ahead and get started. I already have my mock budget set up on my iPad in the GoodNotes app. That's where you can also use these printables. So you have the option to either print them out on paper or use them digitally. And I think I'll leave my sheet in here. For income, we like to have a few different sources. So the first one I like to write in here is my husband, Victor. Then I will write Romina Rosa, which is my sticker shop. Second, I like to add variable income, which is really all other income that varies. So for me being YouTube, when I sell things on Poshmark, and Rosa Jewels, which is my online jewelry business. And last but not least, we like to have a category for Victor's side work which has been helping the past few months with our budget. So that is also another important income source. Then moving on to our expenses, I will start with variable. I'm going to write them out first and then I will tell you the budget for each. So first we like to write groceries out. Then we have a category for eating out, household, gas for our cars. We also have a category for babies, beauty for myself. In the past, I've had sinking funds for things like gifts, but for now, since we don't have sinking funds, well, we only have one right now. I'm going to make it a variable expense. And then we have our bills that typically vary from month to month. Those being natural gas, electric and water. And then last but not least, I like to have a category for any unbudgeted expenses. This for the most part is pretty much the same every month, these categories, but I have changed some of the amounts for this month because with the holidays, you guys know that I'm starting this budget in November since we go by bi-weekly paycheck schedule. So this is actually starting on November 
22nd and it's going to end December 19th. I probably should have mentioned that in the beginning of the video. So I wanted to increase things like groceries because of course with Thanksgiving and getting ready for Christmas, we do have to make extra meals as well as I personally love holiday baking and I'm going to try to bake as many things as I can and that of course is going to add to the groceries budget so for this month for groceries we are budgeting $500 this is probably the most that we have budgeted ever for groceries and last month we were under our $450 budget so I do foresee this being an overestimate but i rather estimate more and then kind of take a look at that for maybe next holiday season to get a more accurate number so for now it's going to be 500 dollars. then for eating out we are getting i think like 10 dollars more than last month which is 150. household is going to be getting the same as it has been the past few months. We actually were under last month, so I think 100 should be great. I actually don't have to buy Christmas decorations because I've pretty much been accumulating some since I've moved out from my parents' house back in 2020. I think we should be good with Christmas decorations, if not, maybe purchasing a few here and there. So $100 should be good. Then next for gas, we are budgeting $200, which has been working great for the past few months. Then for babies, I am budgeting $100, which is typically what we've been doing. We'll say I probably should have budgeted a little bit more because of things like Thanksgiving outfit or Christmas outfit, but we will just go ahead and see how that goes. Then next for beauty, I will be budgeting $50, like I typically do. And then for gifts, $100. I will say that gifts is separate from our like Christmas sinking fund. This is more for like people's birthdays or any important events that we might have to go to. As for our bills, I have mentioned this before, but we split things like gas and water with my brother-in-law and his girlfriend who currently live in the back house. The only thing that we, we each pay is electricity, so that's separate per house. We typically just budget $20 for gas and water and that seems to be good since it is half of that amount. Now for electric, last month we actually got a credit so I'm not sure why that was. I think we might have just overpaid. So I'm going to budget $75 like I did last month and then we will go ahead and see. This might be the month that this number gets adjusted so it might be more. I'm not sure why that happened so I'm just going to budget the same thing as last month. And then for unbudgeted of course this will get zero because we don't budget anything for this category. This just serves more as a placeholder for anything unexpected. Next for our bills slash fixed expenses we have rent which is due on the 1st, and this is 1850 Next is car payment, which is also due on the 1st, and that is 348.06. That is for my car. Victor doesn't have a car payment. Then internet. This is another bill that we split with my brother-in-law. This is due on the 4th and it is $38.50. We have car insurance, which is due on the 8th and this is $129. For my student loans, this is also due on the 12th. That is 130.77 for my phone bill, which is due on the 21st. This is 53.50 for health insurance, which I've been talking about how we've been planning on changing our health insurance because. I honestly think that we are paying way too much and the main reason is because Victor's employer only offered so many plans and we know that there's other plans that we can choose from aside from the plans that Victor's employer offers. So we did go ahead and change it 
for both Vito and I. Victor is going to stay with his employer's insurance because they pay 75% of his. And this won't take into effect. I think this might be the last month that we pay for this insurance. But Vito and I already got our own insurance as well. And I'm going to let you guys know how much that is because it's so crazy how we're trying to save money, but we still have to pay for insurance for both this month and to be honest we're not really even saving like a grand amount so yeah <laughs> all that to say that we have to pay for double health insurance but i am going to separate it in here just so i have that as reference we paid 850.38 for health insurance for the three of us and now for our new health insurance so i'm going to put new health insurance we are going to be paying 600 and thirty dollars with eighty nine cents, which is, as you guys can see, over a two hundred dollar difference. But this doesn't include Victor's insurance, so we'll definitely have to see how much he's going to pay from this amount and just add it onto this for next month. But for now, I am actually happy that I was able to find something that's less. Granted, I think our co-pays are a little bit higher now, but in the long run, I feel like it would be better for us to pay this a month than this a month. And of course, with the new baby coming up, this would have been a lot more too. So that's just what we're going to be doing starting December, and we will go ahead and see. We might have a chance at changing our insurance again once baby is here but we will just have to play that by ear once that happens. So that is the insurance dilemma. And now moving on, the category for haircuts. We're going to be budgeting $90 because Victor foresees getting a haircut twice just because of the holidays and of our baby shower. $90. For two haircuts, each haircut is 45. Then we have a category for our Christmas sinking fund, which we really started super late, but I'm glad that we started it. Otherwise, we would probably be very, very stressed about that right now. I know I've been doing like 125 or 100 last month, but this month we're actually going to be adding $200. And I have been keeping track of what we've been spending for Christmas on the separate transaction log that I offer within the planner. So I pretty much have everything that I've been spending on there. So that is why you guys don't see it in my monthly view, let's say, because I'm already tracking it somewhere else separately. And then last but not least, we have one more expense this month, which is another expense that I typically like to have a sinking fund for because otherwise, all of these bills end up piling up in one month. This is the exact reason why I love sinking funds. And this is definitely a reminder for myself and I hope for you guys as well to maybe start sinking funds in 2025 because they will definitely help you in the long run. The last expense that I have for this month are my car tags, which I pay every December. This one is due on the 12th of this month and it is a whopping $242 with 52 cents. So let's say that if I would have started a sinking fund back in January and wanted to save from January all the way until December, I would have just had to stuff this sinking fund with $20.21 a month to not have to worry about it in the month of December. But of course, that is not what we did this year. But this is definitely what we will be doing next year because all of these bills that have just piled on us for this month, especially with the double insurance, are no joke. Those are all of the expenses, quite a bit going on, especially with the holiday season. And this is why it's better to be prepared than to be sorry. Now I'm going to go through really quick and add all of my expenses. So total them up so I can write them out in my total section. For my budgeted amount for the variable expenses is $1,315. And then for fixed expenses, it is a whopping $4,563 with 62 cents. 
So if I total up all of our expenses, that totals up to $5,878 with 60 two cents which in this economy is crazy but with that being said that is what we have for our december budget i really hope that you guys enjoyed coming along and listening to me ramble about my month my budget and all that good stuff as always please do not forget to give this video a huge thumbs up as well as subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for the upcoming 2025 budgeting videos that I have planned for you guys this month, as well as the rest of the content. See you there. Bye guys.